Today I'm going to talk about something which is really important and, it, and it's funny because everything on this channel is always prompted by well, either you guys in the comments section, people that come through that door for golf lessons or people that reach out for online lessons. And recently, well, I work with a variety of golfers from people that are fairly new and inexperienced in the game to somebody that has been quite experienced and had a multitude of lessons and has got themselves to a very good level. But what's always funny is we tend to see the same sort of habits and the same sort of mistakes. And that's exactly what I'm gonna share with you today because coincidentally, my last sort of seven or eight sessions have been the same sort of uh, topic area. So one of the important things in the golf swing is we have to retain something known as hip depth. Now hip depth just basically means that we don't wanna be moving closer towards the ball so therefore we want to retain our hip depth which means that we want to make sure that the hips well they stay back and out of the way so to speak and it's something that a lot of amateur golfers well obviously have a lot of difficulty with now what i would suggest is a couple of things that you need to do out today the first one is you need to check your postures okay so in your posture what you want to do first and foremost is just make sure that you're not sticking your bum out a little bit too much because when you sort of stick your bum out it plonks the hips too far behind your ankle line and that means that if you were to sort of rotate correctly you'd end up finding it very very difficult if not impossible to stay balanced so what you want to do is you want to kind of get this imagination that you're going to get this pelvis tucked underneath your chest so it's more like your belt buckle is more horizontally placed and then from there get your hands to reach down towards your knees and that produces a better posture where i can still reach comfortably down to the golf ball but without my hips sticking excessively behind my ankle line. So that's the first thing. The second thing that you need to sort of practice is once you've got your decent postural position, is just to make sure that you're getting this feeling of turning the pelvis into the leg. Now what this means is turning the pelvis into the leg. So see the way I'm gonna keep my head still and turn the pelvis into the leg like this. Now from that side on perspective, what will happen is as I do this, pelvis will move into the leg and then it will move the hip area behind the original touch line as I'm drawing here. This is giving us hip depth so as we start the downswing we'll have space to bring the club into. I generally promote for most of my sessions particularly online to get a feel for right and wrong to start off with just some very simple uh, club across shoulder rotational drills and then the other one that I like to do is get them to place the hands across the lower part of the stomach and just imagine that you're pointing it a little bit more down towards the ground. Now the key for this is what you need to understand as I've been promoting in the recent uh, YouTube videos is that you need to understand you have to rotate around a tilted axis so like this and then see therefore my, if my pelvis points slightly downward that means that the lower part of my spine will equally align itself to that and point downward and you might as well match your upper part of the spine and therefore you end up rotating around a tilt. So if you're a golfer who you get a bit too sort of slidey or you basically know that you don't rotate enough or you know that from the side of perspective you lose hip depth then I'd propose that you check your posture first and foremost and then what I would probably suggest that you do is just spend a little bit of time building up a bit of consciousness to how the lower body should move and getting this feeling of turning the pelvis into the leg and then when you do it try and keep your head still and you should get a nice activation underneath that trail foot probably activating the glute as well and all of a sudden you'll be able to demonstrate a backswing position where from a face on perspective you'll be able to rotate around a tilt but more importantly for today's discussion a good posture and a good rotation means that you're going to get yourself hip depth. Start getting hip depth as you come in towards the downswing. You're going to have way more space to drop that club into. Without it, you're going to forever struggle. I'll see you guys again really soon.